This is a problem from your lab assignment, section 3.9. We have a spotlight on the ground that shines on the wall uh, 12 miles away. And then if we have a, a man that's 2 meters tall, walks along the x-axis from the spotlight towards the building at a speed of uh, 24 miles or meters per second, which uh, should be taken as dx dt. So this is uh, the the distance that the man is walking away from the spotlight x at any time t it says how fast is the length of his shadow on the building decreasing so as he walks as the man in x here walks towards the wall the y looks like it should be decreasing and remember the man is a fixed two meters tall here so that's the height Using the diagram below, find a relationship between x and y. So we have 2 over x. It looks like we're going to use similar triangles. So if this is an angle here, the opposite is 2, the adjacent is x. So now the big triangle, it looks like the opposite is y. And then the adjacent side is going to be this whole length over here. That's x plus 12 minus x, or just 12. So the spotlight was 12 um, meters away from the wall. And so we have a relationship between the triangles, uh, we, between the two triangles, the small triangle from the spotlight to the man and the larger triangle from the spotlight to the wall. And uh, we want to know how dy dt is changing. Well, uh, we also should note that it should be going negative, it's going down. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, the equation found in the previous step can be rewritten by solving for y here. I think if we solve for y, we have uh, 2 times 12 uh, divided by x, so that's 24. Uh, 24x to the, just for easier uh, differentiation, I think they want us to rewrite the x in the denominator as x to the negative first power. Uh, now that we have that, we're going to differentiate uh, this equation. So the derivative of y is dy dt. The derivative of 24x to the negative 1 is going to be negative 24. Uh, x to the, we have to subtract 1, so minus 1 is the power, minus 1 is going to be negative 2. And then don't forget to take the derivative of the inside, uh, dx dt, which they already did for us. And so now we have the derivative. Um, we put in some values. Um, we want to know um, he's walking at 24, uh, 2.4 meters per second. So uh, we have negative 24, uh, the x squared. Uh, when he is 4 meters from the building. So 12 minus 4, or x is the distance here. So we want 12 minus x to be equal to 4 meters. Uh, if 12 minus x equals 4, then that means x must equal to 8. So he must be 8 meters away from the spotlight. And when x is equal to 8, uh, we're going to put x in for x and that's uh, 8 in for x and then that's going to be uh, 8 squared is 64 in the denominator and so we have negative 24 divided by 64 so that's the stuff in in here and then now we want to put in dx dt so dx dt is a speed uh, that he is walking away from the light so that's 2.4 meters per second and so now 2.4 meters per second, we have to do this calculation. Uh, we have uh, 24, and that's a negative 24, uh, times 2.4. And then we're going to divide by 64. And we get negative uh, 0.9. So the shadow is decreasing. So the negative symbolizes the decreasing. So I think... Um, 
if you already say in a sentence that it's decreasing, you can just keep this positive and it's a negative 0.9. Um, or instead of saying negative 0.9, you can say it's decreasing at 0.9 meters per second. All right, so that's it for this problem.